guys, welcome back. It's another episode of The Dish with Trish. I'm here with fellow Podcast One podcaster, <laughs> Professor Olson. Hello, let us start off. Well, I won't. I don't want to take oh. over your podcast. I, you already were. You're like, you were asking me questions. You're like, let's talk about the podcast. I'm like, no, I'm interviewing you today. I know. Well, I was going to say, you know, for those that are listening and not watching, which is really smart of you, you also videotape your podcast. Mm-hmm. How can I describe your nails? I would say they're about three inches long each. Yeah, uh uh-huh. Can you do anything with nails that long? Oh my god, I can't do it without it. When they're off, I like I can't hit my keys. I don't know, like as I hit the keys with the tip. Oh, so wow. yeah, I'm like used to it now. Yeah. Apparently I'm gonna get in trouble for it. It's a felony to cut up money. Oh, is that with real money? Yeah. I love it. So people were like DMing me and be like, you're gonna go to jail. So I don't know, fuck it. And then the other thing, since we're just starting with, <laughs> you know, the physical, okay. you look amazing. You look amazing. No, you look amazing. <laughs> no, I was no, shook. I was looking at your TikTok earlier today and I'm like, damn, that body. What, no, what I, are you doing differently or new or what, what are you doing? I just think intermittent fasting. I try to eat once a day. What? Yeah. Just once a day? Yeah, but I'll eat like a Domino's pizza. Really? Yeah. Wow. I eat really bad and shitty still. And I feel like, but I, that's why. But when, just, and then you're not hungry the rest of the day? Mm-mm. I eat about three o'clock. Wow. Yeah. My mom does that actually. She has like one big meal a day and that's it. But she eats like little like rice and stuff, right? No, she no. Like, she eats, she eats a large portion. That's just her first plate. Then she'll go have oh. and more. <laughs> yeah. The theory is if you eat within like a one hour period, like you won't, you can't gain weight because you cannot possibly consume that amount of calories in an hour. Wow. Yeah. What are you doing? You said the jungle diet. You're back from. Yeah, I did. I'm, I'm a celebrity. celebrity. Get me out of here, Australia. And I lost 10 pounds in eight days there. Oh which was gosh. hardcore. I had watched the show. I was mentally prepared mm-hmm. for all of the trials to be really difficult, and they were. Like, I was stuck in a coffin underneath the ground with 100 snakes for 30 minutes. And was that real? Yeah, that was oh, real. What? I know, it was crazy. Oh, my God. I had to do a bungee jumping. I ate this disgusting drink called the colon cola. It was basically a lot of blood and bugs and awfulness, but I wasn't prepared for this. You know, it's like a celebrity version of Survivor. I wasn't prepared for the extreme lack of food that started to get to me. Do they give you food or did you have to like hunt it? They, they give you breakfast and lunch and it's just oats for breakfast, mm-hmm. a little bit, and then a little bit of rice and beans for lunch. And then these trials, the competitions, you're competing for food. That's why they want to purposely keep you hungry to incentivize you to actually do them. Did you win food or were you? Every time. I slayed all the really? competitions. So what did yeah. you win? Like pizza? No. <laughs> you win like some weird jungle meat oh. and maybe a condiment if you get all full stars. Oh, no. It's not worth it. That's exactly why I love Celebrity Big Brother because I was not getting enough food. And that was in a house. You know, we never we, when you came over to my place last time, we never talked about Celebrity Big Brother. Yeah, you we talked about everything else, but we didn't talk about that. Well, because I won the very first time I met you. You're like, you should do Celebrity Big Brother. And I was like, oh, well, they kind of asked me. But I didn't know if it was for sure. And then I don't think I saw. Oh, yeah. We didn't talk about it because it was the whole Nick Akato and yeah, everything yeah, else. Yeah. But yeah, no, I don't think it's worth any amount of money to do those shows. Not even I'm a celebrity. Like, oh, definitely not that one. The jungle <laughs> one. Hell no. Not even here in America would I do that. Do you regret leaving <laughs> I'm a cel- the, the Celebrity Big Brother show? Mm, yeah no like yeah I probably should like when I got out I was really depressed I was like oh shit like I kind of missed it but like no because it was awful it was it, awful. it's hard actually the jungle show was way easier than celebrity big brother well you're only there eight days you were on I was there eight days but also the thing is celebrity big brother at least my season was like non-stop fighting from the morning till night yeah everybody hated each other but you liked that didn't you because you were the instigator of it I didn't this is the the best thing I did before I did I'm a Celeb Get Me Out of Here is I watched it. I didn't watch Celebrity oh, Brother before I agreed to do I, it. Yeah. You didn't either? I, I, you know, I saw clips. I didn't watch all of it. I watched a couple yeah. clips. Exactly. Yeah. I didn't watch a single full episode. I didn't either. And it's a very different thing. Yeah. When you see the whole thing and when you, or when you watch the whole season and understanding, I didn't, I didn't realize that people were going to purposely start fights with me to try to get attention same same i didn't know that either and i was like oh i was triggered <laughs> I, I was too but for you fought four back. weeks yeah you were okay with it though like i i'm okay being a troll and being hated but for some reason in that house i was not okay with it it felt really bad it was a bad vibe what was easier you said celebrity um, the jungle one Yeah, the jungle was easier just because for the most part everybody got along were they celebrities on with you yeah 
Um, this big, the, the biggest name in there was this international reality TV star named Charlotte Crosby. Oh. She did, she does, or did, isn't on it anymore, Jordy Shore in the UK. Okay. Like their Jersey Shore. <laughs> yeah. And then she still does this show called Just Tattoo of Us, which Snooki does in America. What is it? It's a tattoo show. Snooki does it? She's at, what? Mm-hmm. Snooki and Nico to- Nico Tortorelli, I think, is his name. I don't remember. Oh, the um, actor? Yes. Yeah. His brother's like John Tortora, like a huge actor, right? He's um, like Adam Sandler movies. He's on that, that TV show Younger with Hilary Duff. Yeah, he's a big... That's weird. Him and Snooki. Okay, yeah, anyways. Him and Snooki. <laughs> and then she's on another show called The, the Charlotte Show. And, and then oh. a lot of other people, I had no idea who they were before I did the show. I was watching clips from your season and I was like, none of them. Like from your Celebrity Big Brother season, I knew like maybe half of them. This one, yeah. I didn't know anyone. I didn't either, but I became fans of theirs by watching all the episodes I wasn't on. Did you like them? I did. I was like, I am so lucky to be here now because I just watched you all for two weeks and now I'm in it. Oh, I see. Because I went in as an intruder. I, I, they, okay, okay. They, they always wanted me to come in late, which I loved. Because right. I'm like, I don't have to do the whole thing yeah. even better. Yeah. It's kind of like stunt casting or right. a cameo or whatnot. Yeah. So I always looked at this past season of I'm a Celeb, Get Me Out of Here Australia as I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here Australia season six featuring Perez Hilton. Yeah. <laughs> that's cooler though. Because that's what Pamela Anderson did with Celebrity Big Brother. She came in for like a week. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, I'm here for a week. And, that was, and that's why I wanted to do the show. I was like, oh, Pamela Anderson's on the show. Like, fuck yeah. My season, literally nobody was on. We had like a person from Mob Wives, like a woman from, and some guy from The Bachelor. I was like, I was so yeah, yeah. confused. He ended up, didn't he end up dating Brandy? Was Brandy Glanville on too? Oh yeah, I guess she was kind of probably the most famous. Yeah, yeah, I know her. I mean, yeah, I like her, no shade, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was supposed to do her podcast too. She's on podcast one, anyways. She out. was. I don't think she is anymore. She's not. No. They told me their biggest show was Heather Dubro. Do you is know her? It? Yeah, oh. I thought their biggest show was the Girl Gang one. They've oh, they got a, a show on E. Oh yeah, so it's Adam Carolla, Girl Gang, and then Heather Dubro, which I was like. Interesting. Yeah, because I met her. Anyways. So, okay. So you did you did the jungle. Are you getting paid per day? Like how long you last? No. Well, you shouldn't really, we shouldn't really talk about Is it specifics. bad? Why? Well, they can't sue um, us. We're overseas. Yeah, I mean, I don't care. <laughs> um, no, it's the same format as Celebrity Big Brother. It makes no sense. They pay you a flat fee. Oh. And that's it. Yeah. It's not, it's much better if, if shows like that were to adopt the Dancing with the Stars model where every episode or every day that you stay longer, you get paid more. They do that on Dancing with the Stars? Yeah. Oh, I thought everyone got like 150K flat. No, the longer you stay on, the more oh. money you make. You've never done that though. I'm surprised. I've met with them, but for some reason they've never booked me. I think you maybe you're too controversial. But they had Andy Dick on. What? Yes. Oh, maybe like, was that like the first seasons though? No. They maybe had him maybe like five years ago or whatever. Yeah, they've had like Holly Madison because I've always wanted to be on it. I'm like, okay, now I'm Holly too sexual. Holly Madison was on too? Yeah, and Kim Kardashian. And, like, and Andy freaking Dick. Yeah. <laughs> do you have an Andy Dick story you must have? Um, yeah, I do. He came into a strip club that I worked in one time and he was... He got kicked out. That's the only, that's the biggest he got thing. Kicked out. Yeah, he got kicked out. What did he do? do I, you don't, remember? I don't know. He went into a booth with a girl and got kicked out within 10 seconds. That's Uh-oh. my Andy Dick story. I wasn't in there, but yeah, I have a lot of like D list celebrity stories from back in the strip club days. I don't know. One day I'll do a tell all. You've done a few. Yeah, but I never really named like big names. Like one day it's going to come all out when I don't give a shit anymore. I love that. Pe- people may not know this, but you've, you, like, you've written a few books that you self released. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, before everyone else. But they were like kind of like, half ass books like night you, but you did the boy with the pink hair books that was a children's book and i did two other books as well but you never did like an auto like a tell-all I'm, you should i'm i'm working on that oh uh, see okay here's the thing this is what i want to know about you you're the original drama channel right like basically like you were doing these gossip i guess it was it was just a blog but like you were like mean like drama channels are mean and you were like mean back in the day you always mm-hmm. you talk well, about it it's so funny because i don't think i'm mean anymore but some no. people still think i am I got into drama last <laughs> night, but I don't regret it. You see, <laughs> what was the drama? I, can, I, I love that I'll still piss people off just by doing my job in a non mean way. Who was it? So, Tori Spelling oh, okay. commented <laughs> on my Instagram, ripping me a new hole because I reported on the fact, a matter of public record, that the state of California twice a year releases a list of people that are delinquent in their taxes. And she was on that list. 
And, and she owes the state oh. of California over $300,000 in unpaid taxes. And she was upset that I posted it saying that her daughter read that and started crying. And I'm like, is it not true? Did this? Did the state of California not put that out there? Yay. And then so many people were saying that I'm bullying her. When I wasn't, I didn't even say anything mean. I just reported that's what happened. And then people were like, well, you could have not reported it. I'm like, yeah, if she was to get arrested for drunk driving, I could also not report that too. But when celebrities do things that I think are newsworthy, it's my job to report wow. it. Wow. And I said, I have zero regret over this. And some people were like even comparing what I did to this recently deceased, sadly, British TV personality, mm. Caroline Flack, mm -hmm. who took her own life. Yeah. But she was subjected to torment and really cruel treatment by the British media, giving her like these awful nicknames, which is something I used to do back in the day. Yeah. I don't do that anymore. I'll still have my opinion on things, but... Let me read you how fucking tame this was. This was so fucking... I'm, I'm I getting heated now. I missed this. I'm, I, wait, so was she the only celebrity on there? No, then her husband... Oh, no, yeah, she was the only celebrity. Then her husband also commented on it. This is all I said. I, the headline was, <laughs> Tori Spelling's tax problems are way worse than she let on. And all that I wrote, and as you can see, it has not been edited. Right. That's all I wrote. I said, this is so public, confirmed by the state of California. Ouch. That's it. That's not mean. That's not nasty. It's, That's not bill bullying. I think she's just embarrassed. Well, yeah, I yeah. get that. But <laughs> when her husband cheated on her, I reported on that too. Oh my God. And then That's she's more like, embarrassing. Yeah. She's like, I thought we were friends. And I'm like, no. <laughs> no? Yeah. See, here's the thing. Because I consider us, like, when you report something bad on me, I yeah, consider us still, friendly. I'll still report on you, even when you do stupid stuff. But in my head, I think that's, like, I'm, I'm like, the new generation in clout now. I'm like, oh, I'm getting clout, though. You know what I mean? So when you do talk about me, I still like it. Well, not everybody thinks like you and I. Yeah. And then some people are like, in the future, if people are writing things like that, when your kids are older, how would you feel? I'm like, I would love it. Yeah. I'd be thankful people are still talking about that's me. That's what Elvis always said. He's like, when people stop talking about you is when you have to worry. Elvis Presley always <laughs> said that. I was like, you know what? It's true. Like, I love that Trisha knows so much <laughs> about like all of these old school peeps. You're secretly like a 60 something year old woman. I always say that. Because you also love well, Chris Angel. You saw him <laughs> recently in Vegas. Yeah, Chris is a friend of mine. He's you like, yeah, you went on. up on stage? Yes. Okay. I felt kind of bad about that because. You um, felt bad? Why? Because he asked me, like, oh, congratulations, because I didn't let him in on it. Oh, oh, oh the fake wedding thing. <laughs> and I was like, and he's <laughs> I like, forgot about I that. know. <laughs> wasn't he's like congratulations i'm gonna and i was like he's like i got you a special sheet at the show like come oh. and he's like where's your husband and i was like he's not here like i felt so because i was still a troll so and if that's the problem with trolling like how who do you tell and i was like oh do i tell him but i was like it's fine i'll just do the show he'll like find out later and then he brought me on stage to wish me congratulations oh. i was like no i felt so bad because everyone did it and he's 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 the fucking nicest do you know him I, I do. We had our own issues in the past, but we're good now. Oh, okay. He's so hot. I do, mean, do you regret that <laughs> troll, the, the marrying the cardboard oh, cutout? Oh, no, because that's so obviously a troll. Like, I, that's what I don't get is when people get pissed at me for stuff like that. Like, that's an obvious troll. Like, I'm just doing it for fun. Now that it's 2020, are you still identifying as a trans man? Oh, God. I, I consider myself to be transgender. I just had Blair White on the podcast and I was talking to her about it. I'm like, am I a cross dresser? Like, I don't know, but in my heart, I feel that. And I know, I know, I'll never talk about this because people like literally will just like bash me. But like, I, in my heart, I feel like I am the wrong gender. I've always, always felt that way. So, what is that? Am I misgender? Am I transgender? Am I a cross dresser? Like, I don't know. Listen, if anything, you got a ton of press <laughs> and you went viral on TikTok. TikTok? Oh, yeah. I used that clip. Or I, and I made my own. I was like, <laughs> no, I made my own version. I said, do I identify as a top? A hundred percent. Do I identify as a bottom? A hundred percent. Something like that. Yeah. I, I, know, I was just like joking. Uh, this was before my era on TikTok. I just joined TikTok. So I was before I well, was on You were there. on there a while, but you just weren't using That's it. That's right. Yeah. After my breakup, my last one was like Jason. And then like for like eight months, I didn't post. And then I'm like, I'm back. But I yeah, because Beetlejuice was a big thing on TikTok. So I'm like, I'm getting on there. And... Oh, then it's all you were posting. <laughs> yeah. And it's all your comments. You're like, okay, Beetlejuice. <laughs> Are you getting paid? Yeah, <laughs> Hey, the Lydia just left the show abruptly. That never happens on Broadway. Ooh. I'm like, am I gonna? I'm ready to take over the role. And you went to see that? Uh, yeah, like ten times. Ten times. Yeah, the cast like invites me backstage now, and like oh. I get very excited. I want to do Broadway. I know you do too. Which, you have never done Broadway? No, I've never. I've done a couple off Broadway shows. I would love to do any Broadway show. I feel like Chicago is going to be our show. I auditioned. I didn't get the part. You auditioned <laughs> mm -hmm, for Amos. 
How did you not get it? Cellophane, Mr. Cellophane, should have been my name, Mr. Cellophane. You could look right through me, walk right, right by me, I never know I'm there. Anyways, oh I'm God. such a show queen. I love it. Same. I'm surprised because like even people who can't sing, like Al Roker was in Waitress. Well, and you can sing. So. I did this um, cabaret show once with this amazing group called the Skivvies where they perform in their underwear. Uh-huh. And I, I did that like a whole 10 minute monologue inspired by Rosie O'Donnell. How... Rosie O'Donnell cannot sing. No, when she was and in every show. she's done four Broadway yeah. musicals. And, like starring, like Rizzo yes. and Grease. I'm like, and- if Rosie O'Donnell could be on Broadway, then so can I. Yeah. She was in Rizzo and Grease. She did Susical. She did Fiddler on the Roof. Oh, and I, I think that. she may have done a fourth one as well. Oh, I didn't know she did all those. I knew the two. Yeah. Susical. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. One day, one day. I feel like especially Chicago, because like every, who, who did I see in there? Oh, Cuba Gooding Jr. was awful. Well, he Erica was, Jane's in it now. I know. Real Housewives. She's leaving. I know. When I saw that, I was like, I want to be old. I feel like, no, no. You, doing this, I feel like it's just more real, right? Mm-hmm. Whereas with YouTube, like, you must feel a lot of pressure to be outrageous to get views. Yeah, and also I feel like it just doesn't work. Like, the, what works now on YouTube, I don't understand it. Like, because what works is, like, the Tana and the Davids and the Logan Pauls. And, like, like I understand it, but I don't understand it enough to do it. Like, I don't know how to, like, get on that. I like some, I just like your stupid stuff sometimes. Like what? Like, you, you did this one <laughs> video where you just, like... We're kissing a pillow or something or making out with a, was it a pillow? Yeah. I'm like, this is like performance art. Like, yeah. I loved that. Well, I feel like a select niche group of people get it and like the other people don't. I loved that. Yeah. It's just out of boredom. I want more of that. Okay. I'll do I want more. weird shit. Well, that's what gets, comes out of me anyways or eating, but I need to like tone that down because I want to actually like diet. I want to be like you where I'm like hardcore diet, like no cheating. I've never done diet where I haven't cheated and like lost a bunch of weight. I've never done that. And I want to do that so bad. I can't believe you're only eating once a day. Yeah, I'm going to try and do once a day keto now. Like I'm going to start that this wow. week. I want to do that dramatic weight loss. And are you also exercising more or exercising? You're doing a lot of dancing. No, I haven't, actually, I haven't exercised or danced in September. I heard my, I had my torn my meniscus in September. Oh, wow. And so I haven't. I done, so it's just by only eating once a day. Yeah, I need to start working out because I keep using the knee as an excuse. Well, you also, what about all the weight loss products you promote? I it's, don't promote. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but can I tell you those do kind of work, and I'm not just saying this. They're appetite suppressants, so if you do drink that, and your mindset is like, "Oh, I'm not hungry," just like those. What were the ones Anna Nicole did? Trim spot. I used to take those all the time. Trim spot, baby. Oh, those work. Your heart would go. One, <laughs> one of my good friends, and I don't, I don't know, I don't know how safe this is, but it's a prescribed <laughs> by a doctor. For those people that don't want to do a weight loss surgery, like a sleeve or a band or whatever it is, some people are now taking shots, like some kind of injection that really suppresses your appetite. Oh, really? Like next level. I think my thing is I don't need to suppress my appetite because I don't really get hungry. My problem is I eat when I'm not hungry, when I'm like Mm. sad and I just want to stuff food in my belly and I get really like sick and I feel it. Like I think that's my problem. It's not that I don't know when I'm not hungry. It's just like eating. Are you sad these days? (laughs) Always. You are? Yeah, I think so. (laughs) Why? I don't know. I'm always sad. I don't know. <gasps> what? Okay, I, wanna, well, I, I don't know. What? what? I'm going to save it because I'll, I'll film something for, for my YouTube afterwards. Okay. I'll ask you the real juicy Trisha questions <laughs> for that. It's a collab. We did a collab once and I remember like. We've done two. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Oh my god, yeah, that's right because of the drama. And then you kind of like spun it on me. You always spin it on me. See, I did not spin it on you. I, I kinda, spin it on you because you were like, oh, like she's like, you still thought I was lying even after our, you did like a follow up video after we did our collab about Nikocado, and you're like, I still think she's lying, but whatever. No, I don't think I said she was lying. I just think I, I just said I think that was unprofessional. I would say. But guess what? Look at that. Yeah, I, I was going to talk about it. I was going to talk about it. All right. Well, we're going to talk about it now. Yeah. Hashtag karma. <laughs> Bitches fucking were like, oh wow, Nick Akato's like now the worst because the exact same thing. No, 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 but happened. you, but you after that apologized and you collabed with him because everyone forced me to. They're like, you they owe him a force. They're you like, to. oh, you need to collab with him. You need to, you were like, you need to apologize. And I was like, what I didn't say fuck? you need to collab with him. I just said an apology. And I even, I even said, I said, listen, I'm super transparent. I'm like, even if it's a fake apology, I, I literally I, said that. Yeah, well, I wasn't about it. And like, I mean, he's nice, he's fine. But then that same fucking thing happened with someone else. It's like, I, people hate this comparison and I just I'm just gonna say it. it's like when a slutty girl will say she's like raped and they're like whatever but like if a good girl says she's raped they're like oh my god that's so crazy like it's like they don't believe me because I'm drama all the time and then like with her they're like oh my god that's so awful that he did that to you but he yeah he 
he's she goes to them and no no one <laughs> no and but this guy I, I i gotta say like it's you're an inspiration what he he just is like trying he is the male oh, you yeah he's always been that way yeah though. but yeah. i mean he even i think i don't even know if i mentioned it when we chatted last time but I, he's even got his own only fans or whatever yeah and he now he because when i when i was doing it with him or when i when we were collabing he wasn't showing penis or anything now he's like sucking his husband off on only fans oh, really yeah I, oh, I'm subscribed i subscribe to people because i want to see what they're posting you subscribe yeah <laughs> wait let's look at it oh my god get, no. get your phone <laughs> oh my god only it's not on my phone it's on my website or on my uh, computer i can look at it after. i want to see you want to react to nick Akata? <laughs> oh that'd be a funny video would you ever do only fans no, I have three kids. Oh, yeah. I think it's kind of weird, I guess, when people do it with kids. I don't know. I might still do it if I had kids. I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to pass judgment, but for me, I wouldn't. Just like, you know, I was reading this past week, a big story was about how Steven Spielberg's daughter is now doing adult work. Which one? His 23-year-old adopted daughter with Kate Capsha. Is it Death Street? Michaela, Michaela Spielberg. Oh, Michaela. No, I don't know. And um, thus far, it's only... Like self pleasure videos. Oh, she's masturbating on it. I haven't seen them, but there oh. there were no co stars at the moment. But she's saying that she just is a very sexual and free, liberated person and is not doing it for the money only. Yeah. So what else? I love it. I I do love it. That's my passion too. Podcasting and OnlyFans. Those are my two things I love doing. But if you had kids, would you want your daughter to be doing that? Um, that's such a weird question because I don't have kids, so I don't know. Like, I can never say it because I'm like, yeah, whatever she wants to do. But maybe if I had a like, daughter, I, I don't know. I I never even got a tattoo because I didn't want then my kids to be like, well, dad has a tattoo. I can get a tattoo too. Right. Because next thing you know, they'll have a freaking face tattoo. Yeah, well, I... <laughs> Everybody's got a face tattoo these <laughs> face days. Face tattoos are kind of hot though. Aaron Carter has one. Oh, do we? T- yeah, do we like him? He has an OnlyFans now, too. I know. <laughs> I gotta I was subscribe. Gonna, I gotta I was, you subscribe to his? I, I haven't done it yet. It's him and his girlfriend, I think. I don't know. I want to watch. Yeah. Subscribe after this. Okay. <laughs> we got to make a video just reacting to all the OnlyFans. Only, I'm so down. You should create one. Just maybe like no. in your boxers or something. You post that stuff anyways on your Instagram. Isn't it interesting how things work that Aaron Carter was getting so much attention for a while there and now nobody cares? Why is that? Because he sat, he went too hard, too, too, he was too much. Okay, so like oversaturated himself? It's like he went Trisha at a hundred, but like every day in a row. You have to give it a rest. Right. And I feel like there's also, there's me that trolls and wants attention, and then there's people who are actually delusional. Yeah. And I think, I think Aaron's delusional. I don't think it's a show. He's like, I'm tricking all of you guys. Like, I don't think that's like a thing that he's, you know, he's I, manipulating it at all. I don't mean, I don't, I don't clearly know what's going on with him but i know amanda Bynes, okay and yeah she, and at first i thought that was bs but up, after reading up a lot on it if somebody has latent you know underlying mental health issues mm-hmm. marijuana can actually trigger that you would think something more serious like cocaine or meth or whatever but marijuana yeah. actually was the trigger and, and he smokes a lot a ton like all the time like I knew, I heard that too. That's why I I smoke just to be like with a guy. There's a guy that and I used to smoke a lot, and I was I was starting to feel that way too, where it was like fucking with my head, where I was like feeling delusional, where I wasn't feeling like oh I'm trolling, I'm in control of my you know actions, and like it started becoming. But Amanda Bynes just seems still off. She like apologized for like calling people ugly. <laughs> I don't know for sure, but I do believe that she's sober from hardcore drugs, like she said. But it seems to me she's very heavily medicated. Yeah, like Xanax or something. More hardcore, you I think? would say, like lithium or oh. s- squirrel, or I don't, I don't know what the heck those hardcore uh. mental health pills or drugs are. But wishing her the best. Back to OnlyFans for a second. Okay. I, I I wish your 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 manager was here because I have so many questions for him too. Oh, Jordan. Jordan. Wait, why? <laughs> Just like, is it ever a struggle for him to get you these? brand partnerships or deals while you're still doing OnlyFans. Yeah, I think it I, I definitely does. I asked him that on my podcast. I'm like, is it kind of hurting? He's like, well, you just can't do. But I was already with Adam and Eve and stuff. Like, I'm already down that path. It wasn't like it's I was going to be mainstream. Even Dancing with the Stars, I remember I was in talks with them the season Nash or Hayes Greer was on. He's like a Vine star. And um, it was because I had, uh, I'd done, just, I wasn't even on Patreon. It was because I did Adam and Eve sex toy reviews. And they're like, no. I was like, okay. So I'm already blacklisted yeah. from like wholesome content. So I was kind of like, eh, whatever. For me, I don't want to be like mainstream. I don't want to be like, I'm not going to be an actress or anything. Like, that's not my goal. Like, I just want to be rich, you know? <laughs> Are you 
Do you own this place? No, this is rented. You're rented. Yeah, but this is like the same amount as my last apartment. Really? Isn't that crazy? Wow. A little more, like a couple thousand more, but. <laughs> That's a lot more. It's not a lot more. Like I a went, couple thousand. I used to rent a house for like twenty five thousand dollars a month. What? Yeah, like a couple years ago. Twenty five thousand so dollars. So it's month. less than that. <laughs> That's just crazy. Well, like I was telling you, I don't know where I want to be. I kind of want to move to like. This something like Maui or something like I don't want to move like part of me doesn't want to be in LA so I'm like oh, move gonna... to Vegas I see you more in Vegas that's true it's cheap there too I could get a big ass mansion like Holly Madison you could and yeah. it's tax free wait really yeah why don't you move there like half I thought about it I'm tempted I just I don't know it's more like down the road if I in a few years maybe yeah I you... love Vegas I love Vegas too I'm, I'm going I love Carrot Top I'm trying to get him on the podcast oh, I'm, I'm going to Vegas um April, the first weekend of April, to see the Jonas Brothers new Vegas residency, to go see the new um, Spiegel World show, Atomic Saloon. Oh my God. To go see Kelly Clarkson. Oh. And to go see Barry Manilow. Oh. I am having the gayest weekend in Vegas. (laughs) It's for my birthday. By yourself? No, I have my, I have two of my best friends that live there. Okay. So my local Vegas gays. Oh, but the gay scene in Vegas is whack. We don't do the gay scene in Vegas. There's one bar. There's one gay club that we went to. It's something with a P. I forgot Piranha. what it's called. Piranha. That's fun. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Saw Carrot Top there, though, even though he's straight. No, but like, I'm not outing him, but like, because he has a girlfriend. He has a blonde girlfriend. Wow. I mean, he does. But, you know, I follow him on Instagram. I love Carrot Top. And he's always wearing like, not that it's like wrong, but he's always wearing, like, putting like lipstick on and like painting shirtless. his nails. Shirtless. and Speedos. He's and, got a buff bod for his uh, age. He's so hot. And then I looked him up and I'm like, oh, he has a girlfriend. And then I was like, I always thought he was gay. I don't know. I don't. I don't out anybody, but you say this, but that's not true. true. No, because all my friends, if you come to my parties, it's all gay men and they all love you. Lies. It's not. I had a Christmas party where literally one person wasn't a gay guy. Everyone else was like gay. I didn't get invited. (laughs) Because I always think you don't like me. I am here. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, I guess. But I, it's, it's, it's like hot and cold with you. Like, I feel like a lot of drama channels are like, not that you're a drama channel, but a lot of drama channels are like that. They say they like me and then they like, not talk shit, but. I like, I more than like you. I respect you. Oh, that's and big. And I'm inspired by you. Oh. Okay. Well, I, I see a lot of myself in you. And a lot of myself I don't see <laughs> in you, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we are similar. I always loved you. Oh, my God. I remember because you'll always be iconic because you were, like, the first social media, like, star for, like, doing. It's not like you you did stuff, but you didn't do things. Do you know what Before I mean? Before like, that word influencer existed, yeah, that was, was you. me. That's crazy because I remember. It was just, like, you. And I feel like, who was the other guy? Nick Ritchie had, like, a big site, too. But he was after me. Was he? Mm-hmm. Is he still around? No. Well, he's he's got a baby with uh, Shane Lamas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I don't know how he's making money, but his website's not around anymore. The dirty's not around. Mm-mm. Wow. So many of those closed. What about like just Jared? He's kind of like you. He's too. still around, but he's never. He made. He was very different from me. Right. He was the nice guy. Yeah, and you were and gossip. also faceless. Like there was not like a face attached. Yeah, to you him. were like a brand. I I still am. Right. Which- and now I just do so many different things too. It's you know one of my biggest inspirations in life. And I like to be fully honest and transparent. You would think 16 years later, I could coast or be lazy, but I can't because I don't have a few money in the bank, which is why I asked you, do you own this place? Yeah. Are you saving Trisha? Well, I don't. I think I always ask you You that. always ask it's me. Impo- Oops, Ooh. sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> Oops. What's that? What's that for? <laughs> Birth control? <laughs> no. If you you want to know the real truth? Yeah. Let me hear it. What was that? I am. I have obsessive tendencies. Plus, I'm unhealthily obsessed with TikTok to the point of look at how many finished videos I have in my drafts. <gasps> 268. Why aren't you posting them? I don't understand. I am. I just don't want to post too many in one day. Oh. So I set my alarm for every two hours and I put one up every two hours. You are fucking crazy. <laughs> Holy shit. shit. Instead of posting like two every thir- two every- to an hour, I post, you know, eight a day or something Who's like that. Who's that? You're following a girl with huge tits. Oh, no. Hot dude. Model. Oh, okay. Nick Bateman. <laughs> no, I was, I was like- <laughs> I was uploading, and then and the following shows up. Oh, got it. I see. Okay, now you're uploading. It might take a minute with the Wi-Fi. It's all good. But see, that's why you're go- you keep up with the um, like everything. Like you're on TikTok. People refuse to get on TikTok. Like all these YouTubers like don't want to get on that's it. That's dumb. I know. I get like more views on TikTok. I think I went up like fifty thousand followers in like a day. I was like, mm, this is wow. where it's at. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I love see- seeing the evolution of things. Like the hottest person in all of social media 
in 2020 is that TikTok girl, Charlie, Charlie D'Amelio. Yeah. And her boyfriend's also really happening to Little Huddy. Chase Hudson. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I even know their names. I, do too. So, I get so involved. And- but what's interesting is that those that were big uh-huh. on TikTok, even just a year ago, aren't big anymore. Who were, who were the They're stars? They're constantly evolving and changing. That's true. The big stars were that Lauren, Lauren Gray. Gray. Girl. She's not a, she, yeah. she's lost it, yeah. kind of. And another big one was that Kristen Host, whatever. Yeah. She's not got an OnlyFans. Oh, that's a, that's a tea. I know, that's right? That's so funny. Oh, my God. And and she was promoting it on TikTok. <gasps> I feel like that you'll get in trouble for. Like, I don't mix the two. Because... But she did it. Really? You can actually now include your link to OnlyFans on your TikTok bio. Shut up. No, you can't. You can't. She has hers on there. I'm sure if someone reported it, she would get deleted. Because they, like, delete. If I have, like, too much cleavage, like, they delete it. You can check her profile after this that's wrong because tiktok's literally like you can be 13 to be on that site you shouldn't be able to advertise that's fucking weird okay well back to fuck you money because we're talking about this um so what did you do like well you own your house i do but i made the mis. well i wouldn't call it a mistake you know back when i was well i still am able to earn a decent living yeah however as the years have gone on and i've had more kids (laughs) i have more expenses right and my kids go to private school which is a choice i get that right uh back when I didn't have kids and I was all of the money, most of the money that I was making from everything, I was investing it back into the website, which kind of you do that too. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of the money you make, you invest in your music videos. Yeah. 100K a video. Uh, which is crazy. I know. I, I wish I would have invested less, to be honest, and yeah. saved more. But at least it makes me happy to know that you pay your people. You're not pulling a Todrick Hall. No, diss on Todrick because I love Todrick. No, that's a diss. I am pissed about that because I employ my dancers. I pay them full equity rate for my tours, $500 a show, $250 for rehearsal, music video day rates. Fuck Todrick for not paying his dancers for fucking music videos. That's so bullshit. Those dancers. I don't. I don't. They get paid shit and dancers work the hardest. Their fucking bodies get put through the ringer. Like I, I could see both sides, you know. Nobody's forcing anybody to work for free. Anybody who works for free is choosing to do He's so. Taking advantage they of them. They want the exposure. If somebody's young and, and new to LA, they're excited to do that. Pay them fifty dollars gas, something like that's I, I that's taking advantage. I think he's probably changed recently maybe because he of the bat he hasn't no the last video was free dancers because i know because i'm so in that dance world and like so many people are like they get pissed about it and like you said there's people who will do it and that sucks because you know why it sucks for all the dancers that do work hard because they have to lower their rates now because of fucking people that do it for free so since we last met you haven't been saving money no i save it so i'm i don't like talking about this but whatever it doesn't matter you can google it like my dad is a really like smart investor he's worth like a ton of money my dad has always been worth a ton of money never gave me any money but it's been worth a ton of money he sold a company for like 40 million dollars when i was like 14 or something he's always invested he's done really well so i have a lot of s&p future contracts from per my dad so he does it for me and so he has a system that makes money no matter what and so oh i have no idea i think that's why people think i'm very frivolous because i am and i have a cushion but um i still work really hard because at the end of the day like i still pay for my own shit like i pay for this myself and you and your dad are not as, you get along yeah mm-hmm. yeah we get along good i mean he like obviously disagrees with a lot of stuff but he always wants to like help me and stuff and he's been really smart with his money and where so, does he live because your mom and sister live in orange county yeah right? he lives in like the san diego area like kind of la jolla area mm-hmm. so, so and do you have any other siblings besides your sister yeah i have a brother and he has oh, like a really bougie job i've never even heard of your yeah, brother no i told you because you talked about how your sister doesn't like to be on camera and i'm like oh my brother doesn't really oh, like okay. to either yeah we talked about it before but where yeah. does he live uh he lives in colorado oh. yeah so he doesn't but he doesn't like to be on camera and like my dad doesn't like to be so it's just does he have children mm-hmm. auntie trish yeah it's it's, it's weird because it's like he's so like protected like it's very like oh like i don't know we've always had a little bit of an issue just because i'm so when i go out people know me and they don't like the kids like being in the background does of your pictures. sister have a job she's my assistant she is yeah uh-huh She's been full time since October. She oh. she moved me. So she, she did this whole move. She packed everything up and unpacked everything. <laughs> Does she live with you too? No. No, she lives with my mom. So my mom and her. My mom's retired. And a vlogger as well. Occasionally. Who? My mom? No, she hasn't vlogged in like 
six months. Well, she was. She I've was. seen some of her videos. <laughs> yeah, no, she doesn't do that anymore. She I was think. doing eating videos. Yeah. And everything. Oh, I love it. This is so weird because like I'm so nostalgic. I love like 2007, and so being here with you is so funny that you're talking about my 2007 family. 2007 was the wild year. Yeah, you were. That's why I love like Jeffrey Star. Like, and I know everybody was getting arrested in 2007. Wait, who? What? Everybody. Who was getting arrested? Nicole Richie, Khloe Kardashian, Paris Hilton. Oh. Um, the Kim K sex tape, Britney being unwell. Oh, we got to talk about Britney. You're supporting her in the zone. And I know for a fact she doesn't run her Instagram. And you're like, she supports on it. No, she doesn't. I know she doesn't. I know for a fact. I'm going to well, get like. She's said. So she's either she's just been lying then. Yeah. She's under control on that conservatorship. So going to in the zone is like supporting that. And people like support me and like talking about it. because I'm the only one who stands up and talks about it. Well, I had a great time. <laughs> I think just like Amanda Bynes, like Amanda is also under a conservatorship. Oh. These conservatorships are reviewed and monitored by judges and outside independent observers who listen to what the medical professionals have to say and who also talk to the patient or the person. And I think it's clear that Britney's still under this conservatorship because she needs to. Simple as that. I know someone she invited over to her house, Ashley Tisdale. And? And she, I guess she invited, it's just a story I heard. I guess she invited over to her house and Ashley Tisdale said she was like totally like normal and she just like wanted to be out of the house, but like they wouldn't like let her leave. (laughs) What I heard, that's like a second, third hand story, but Mm. I don't know. I heard that, that she's like, she's fine. And she just like, is like not allowed to like leave, but she's like totally fine. And just like wants friends and to talk to people from the outside world. Um, Brittany, I'll be your friend. I will be. I just want to be her friend. I want to Instagram. I want to do anything. I literally just want to be her friend. <laughs> so I know that sounds so crazy. She's about to, like, fuck off. We love Brittany. Oh, I yeah. love Brittany. Do you know? You knew her, right? Well, I, I, I've I, met her a few times and I did the circus tour opening oh, yeah. video. Welcome to the circus. Oh, that's your iconic. That's their most iconic moment. One of them. I mean, that was big. And being in Rihanna's S&M music video was also big. Whoa. So, okay. So how did this all happen? So you become friends with these like celebrities and then like, you talk shit about them and they're like, oh, I don't want to be your friend anymore. Like Lady Gaga and you had no, a like, out. I couldn't even believe, like with Rihanna. Yeah. Before she asked me to be in the S&M music video, this was back when I was doing this and I don't do this anymore, but it hasn't actually happened in a long time. Well, it still happens, but I don't just, I just don't do it anymore. You know, it, it also did seem to happen way more back in the day. A lot of celebrity naked photos and things like that oh, yeah. they would leak and I would post them. Oh. So there were some Rihanna naked photos that leaked and I posted them. Oh. Even though I'm a huge Rihanna fan. Wait, why did you post them? You just thought, I is it legal fuck. to post like some like, like uh, naked Probably images? Probably wasn't. Wow. Yeah, I wouldn't think. But, <laughs> but I don't do it anymore. So okay. yeah, I, uh, it, it and if it was legal, does it make it right? I don't right, know. right, right. Anyways, so, yeah. Uh, but she then asked me to be <gasps> in the S and M music video, despite the fact that I did that, which is really cool. Or maybe because you did, it was like controversy. Maybe because ballsy of her. Yeah, she's like, you know what? You talk about my sex photos. I'm going to put you in an S and M video. What were you like? You were like, like collared up. She tied up. me up, yeah, and uh, walked me around like her dog, and then tied me up oh. again in a, in a room with all these drag queens. It was like the very first season of Drag Race before it even blew up. Oh, yeah. And it was uh, me and Rihanna and all these Drag Race girls. Oh, my God. It was awesome. That's kind of meta, actually. If she's like, if she's like dragging around like a dog, that's like saying you're like a dog. And then Britney did the same thing, too. When I went to see her in Vegas, that was, when, that was the guy that she <gasps> pulled up for Freak Show. Oh, shut up. Yeah. That's, she, always- she walked me around like a dog then, too. Ooh. Like that, so that's kind of being like, oh, it's my little like bitch right here. That's cute. <laughs> I, I'll happily be Britney's bitch. I would too. I, oh, I love that. I love like deg- what is it? Degradation. <laughs> is that it? Is that a word? Degrading. <laughs> no degradation. You got that right. Wow. Oh my god. I'm like so smart. Okay. Well, like, back to. I want to know about this. Why you haven't branded? Like, you know how like Jeffrey has cosmetics. Shane has merch. Like, how come you never like did a branding? Because as you said, probably a lot of brands were afraid of me. Why didn't you do something of your own? Like. I don't know what your thing would be, but like, you know, like a cup, I don't know, like mugs, so, cell phone case, something. I've like. done all of that throughout the years. You know, n- not one thing that was like bigger than anything, you know? Because, you know, like Emma Chamberlain does like coffee and like the Dolan twins, like they do their, sh- like everyone has like something. And I don't either. That's why I'm asking you because like, I don't know what my, even, do you remember Forbidden speaking of 2007? Forbidden? Yeah. Christine the- Dolce from MySpace. Uh uh-uh. uh. You don't remember her? No. She was a big MySpace celebrity. It was like, she was number one. She was the number one MySpace girl. 
Wow. Yeah, she died recently of like uh, like oh, she's like thirty seven. She died oh. of like alcohol poisoning. Anyways, she had like a destroyed. She had like a denim company that was like destroyed denim, and like you know, I guess it made like millions of dollars. So I was just like, I don't know what my thing is, but I feel like that is when you can not have to work and you can coast. Yes and no. I mean, the likely like you mentioned Emma Chamberlain and coffee. Before that, Connor Franta also did something with coffee. Yeah, everyone tries to do that. I don't think. He's doing it anymore. Right. You know? The, the, and when I said earlier I, that I like and respect and I'm inspired by you, it wasn't bullshit. Because you and I are OGs and survivors and mm-hmm. we're still here. Yeah. And we don't need to do this or that or the other. That's and actually, true. if you were to launch a product now, would it be, would it be a huge hit? Maybe not. Probably it, oh, not. it was. I did that Glitter Bitch box. It was like four months and done. Did it, it didn't do that well. Mm-mm. No. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I love it. I try. I love it. You see, you know, like I released a song in December called OK Boomer. I knew it wasn't going to do well, but I didn't care. It's just like, although I fucking loved your Christmas song. Thank you. That was so fucking good. I like to see my music. I always think it's going to be a hit. Although, why the fuck did you release that so late? You needed to, you didn't release it like two days it's, before Christmas no, or something. No, I know. That's always been me because I know you're supposed to release it like December 1st. Yeah. I'm so, because every year I'm like, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to waste my money. And then December comes around. I'm like, fuck it. Let's do that it. That was such a good Christmas. Fa la 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 la. I remember it was so oh, good. Thanks. And I'm like, why did you wait, wait so long? I know. I know. Well, because I didn't know. Like, I just moved into this place. And I'm like, I'm conservative with my money, too, because I have to work every month to make money. You know what I mean? I have to take care of a lot of people and you, shit. So you got to do a new video for it. But, but that give that song another push this coming December because it's so good. I have a different direction. I have a new album, but it's not me. It's like a band of mine. So, oh. yeah. So it's a different direction. We're not pop stars anymore. We're, we're something different. What are yeah. you? I can't say it. The it comes out. I come out May first with it. So it's you and somebody else. I'm, it's a band. It's my band, and it's it's not I'm not the face. I'm the singer, but I'm not the face of it. It's not like Trisha Paytas. It's like a band with a label. I don't know. I have a big announcement coming soon. It's gonna be really fun. Oh, all I, right. and it's, it's, Stay it goes tuned. it goes into my um, transition a little bit. So oh, so I'm not necessarily a girl. Oh, which I'm very excited about because I love being a boy. Anyways. <laughs> I do. You know, my favorite kind of uh, person to like, date. I got in trouble with this recently. I, oh, actually this today, the H3 podcast came out and I said that I was on Grinder, and people got really pissed about it. You are? Uh-huh. Because you're looking to bone gay dudes? I'm looking for trans females. Oh. And I'm under there as a trans male and people are very mad about it. Oh. Are you, are, are you did they kick you off? Not yet, but I feel like after today, because the H3 podcast came out today, I feel like after today I'm going to get kicked off. Like you, uh, some... Celebrities that are on Grinder get kicked off, and then they think they have to contact them or whatnot because they think it's fake. Yeah, so I verified already. So they asked oh, you're verified. <laughs> okay, so they're not going to kick you off. But I don't think they quite understood because they, when I say verified, they asked for my ID. It wasn't like, "Are you Trisha Paytas?" Like, "Oh, we need an ID." Do they ask everyone on Grinder for IDs? I don't know. If I were oh, to you. go on, I'm sure they would ask, but I don't think they ask everybody oh. for ID. Yeah. I'm like a celebrity on Grindr. <laughs> or maybe, I don't know. I haven't been on Grindr oh, forever. you don't do it. I love it. I love, that's the, that's the place where I find like all the girls I hook up with, but. Um, they don't, I, they're not girls. T-girls. Oh, you hook up with, with trans. Male to female. Male to female. Oh, I mm-hmm. thought you were looking for trans men. No, no, no. Trans women. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. And I can only, and I really only go on Grinder for that. So I don't know where else I'd go to find. And do you have a preference, like at what stage in the transition they are? Yeah, of course. Like I obviously, no surgery. Like no surgery. Well, I like boobs, and I like hormones, yeah. but I don't like bottom surgery. Interesting. Because yeah. before, I think I've asked, and you never. Well, you did. You were a lesbian for a while, and then you came out as that and then you you were not a lesbian anymore right well i don't know what you consider me maybe i'm the umbrella what's the umbrella term queer you came out as black as well too once okay i was on drugs then <laughs> and a chicken like those i was on hardcore drugs i was like <laughs> fucked out of my like earlier this year okay so i canceled on perez twice and i felt so bad because i never canceled guests but for some reason it was like not meant to be earlier this year i was on a drug binge for like a week and then i stopped it was like january 1st when i stopped Two weeks later, I'm still fucked out of my mind. Like, I, I thought my house was floating. I was like, where am I? Like, what? that's why I kept canceling. What drugs were you doing? I don't even know. 
I, I swear, I don't know. I, I think, I don't know what I was doing. Like, because I think the original one was like the 26th or something, or the 27th, we were supposed to do it. What do you mean you don't know? You have to know what drugs you were doing. No idea. Liar. I swear. Don't fucking lie. I was with someone who was really educated on drugs and was just like, take these. I was like, okay. Were they pills? Were they powder? They were pills we snorted. Pills? You, was it MDMA? Oh, no, we did that, but that was that was only one night. And then, I mean, we've done, like, Oxys, MDMA. We did everything. And, like, Coke, our Coke, I think, had, like, fetanol in it or something. I think oh we were going to, like, what? Yeah, I seriously. That's dangerous. I, no, like, I honestly, like, Tim can attest, like, we had one podcast, like, the second week of January, and I was so out of it. I couldn't even see. I, like, couldn't focus on the person. I was, like, my head was gone. I was, like, mush. And you, last year, you said you were doing meth. Oh, yeah. That's when I crashed my car into a house. <laughs> But anyway, again, not about me. It's, uh, I'm not. I don't. I don't. I don't like drugs. I do it to like be cool with the person I'm with. Do you like some people do it just to have lots of sex? But I don't think you would need that. You know yeah. I mean? No, it was actually like yeah. No, we. I guess we had lots of sex. But like no, I, mm, it's not for me. I'm like if if someone I'm with is like into drugs, I'm like okay, me too. But like that's not like I get off on it. In fact, I get really scared. I'm like I'm gonna probably die. Like during that time, I was like I'm probably gonna die during this. And you could report on me. Oh, you could have the exclusive. So <laughs> should I leave that as a note? Fuck it. I mean, I don't even. I, I don't even know if we're gonna do a video after this. I'll just we let's can do just it. talk. No, all, we can no, do it. Let's just talk all the tea then. So in January, you were also banging Jacqueline Hill's. Ex. Oh my god! <laughs> Did you talk about this already on the H two podcast? I haven't talked about this anywhere. Oh, you haven't. Mm. Um, oh my god! No, 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 no. We know the drama. What's the drama? The drama was when you went live. Oh, mm. uh, can I, I honestly can say I have no recollection. Obviously, I've seen it. I have no recollection of it. You went dro- you went live and then you were going to spill some major tea. And then he said something to you. <laughs> I don't remember. I swear. He said something to you like there's a court case or so- I don't remember exactly. I wish that we had some viewers that were c- c- could be Fucking. commenting live. Oh, he God. said something like this, there's a court case or whatever. And then you shut up. What were you going to say? Oh, uh, I honestly don't remember. And I'm still really good friends with John. John, I'm so fucking sorry. Like, we talk every single day. So, like, I You don't, talk every day? Every, I just talked to him literally. We FaceTime for three hours this Are morning. Are you dating like, him? No, 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 no. No, no, not at all. But, like, we talk. Because he's, like, in Texas or some shit. So, he's going to um hate me. But that's okay. Sorry. Um, No, I think he's open about it. He got arrested last year. So, he had a court case for coming up to, like, see what's going to happen. If he's going to go. He got, like, arrested for Zannies and... Was he physically abusive to you? No. 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 What were you going to say then? Okay. T? Yeah. <laughs> T, he was like talking to another girl prior to him coming out. And he was, when I was getting glam, he was talking to another girl and I lost my shit. Who cares? It's not, that, not like you're dating him. It's not like he was in your my boyfriend. mind, I felt that way though. And I was like, you fucking asshole. Like you're in my house. Like you don't talk to another girl. Like I was, I, I was fucked out of my mind. Like I definitely did some drugs and I was definitely <laughs> fucked out of my mind. And I definitely, I think I did that because I was so pissed and he was like yelling at me. Not abusive at all. Like he's actually like the nicest guy I've ever met in my life. This is not like a pitch form or whatever, but he's like the nicest guy I've ever met. When you were with Aaron Carter last year, did you do drugs with him? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> he had them. Yeah. I you, don't know didn't, to... you didn't take drugs for him. Take drugs. Uh, Give him drugs. No. He no. had his own. Yeah. I don't, I don't know drug dealers like what that. Did, what did he do? What did you guys do? Um, I don't know. Come on. <laughs> it's your podcast. No. I don't the know. Dish with Trish. <laughs> I don't know because he actually scares me. John and I are cool. I know he's cool. Yeah, Aaron, Aaron has I... guns. Oh, that's what scared me. Okay. So that's when we were hanging out. And I was like, oh, that's like scary because... I don't know. Well, you his... already just said he does. Dr- he gave you. You did drugs with him. Yeah. So you're gonna have drugs with guns. I don't know about that combination. Was he doing meth? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Have you ever done heroin? Uh huh. What? <laughs> Wait. Have you? No. I've only done it once. Someone like wrapped my arm for me and did I it for me. I barely even drink these days. But you did drugs back in the day when you had like pink hair and purple hair. No, I never was that person. Like I didn't even like to get drunk. When I was around celebrities, I was always in work mode. Really? Mm-hmm. So you wanted a story. You don't want to be friends with them. You wanted like to get tea on them. No, I, I just, even then, like, even when I was just with my regular friends, like I'm not just one to get wasted. Like, cause I always, it's, and it's, it's one of my saving graces. Like I never, ha- I never gave myself the option to get messy because I couldn't. Right. Cause for the last 16 years, I've always worked seven days a week. Right. I never take a day. I can't take a day off. Yeah. Unless I'm like 
filming a TV show where I'm just gone. And you get a lump sum of money. Like, tomorrow I'm working. And I, I, even on vacation, I work. But, like, filming YouTube videos. That's what you're talking about? Everything. Filming YouTube videos, doing my website. I still do my website. I'm still doing social my social media, creating content, this, that, the other. Yeah, you're very busy. Because even to book you for this, like, you were saying the holidays were slow, and that's why you were able to do it. But it was so hard. And it's like, tonight's a Saturday at 6 o'clock at I night. Know. And I was like, that's such a random time. I was like, down. Well, it kind of was perfect, because weekends are a little slower, and I didn't okay. have anything to do after. I had my son's birthday party earlier at Two Bit Circus today. Yeah. Oh, sh- how old is he? Like right before this, he just turned seven. Oh my gosh! How, how old are you? Do you say I'm forty one? I'll be forty two on March twenty third. Oh shit! So you had your first kid at thirty three? Thirty four. Okay, I got some time then. I need to have a baby soon, so thirty four. That's good. <laughs> I need to get I on there. I thought you said you couldn't. Well, like IVF, yeah, I have a uterus. I can get someone. But I thought you, you, I thought you said you weren't able to. Yeah, the semen won't go up because my tubes are blocked. Uh, but like, if someone puts an embryo inside of me, I might. I don't know. Own. I mean, technically, I could. There's like a one, there's a little percent chance like a semen could get through anyway. So that's a whole other thing. Are you dating anyone now? Did I ask you that? Already? No, I'm not dating anyone. I'm happy not dating anyone though. I actually am like fine with it. You're just hooking up on Grinder. Mm. Last night, did you hook up? I did. You did? <laughs> I did. And I want to get it on my OnlyFans, but I don't know if that's going a bit too far. Like, is that. I think you should. I don't know. I'm surprised you haven't yet. And a lot of the girls are down. Like, a lot of the girls are, like, definitely down for it. Like, they don't really care. They're like, yeah. Does it. Do you think about aging out of OnlyFans? Like, do you think. Oh, yeah. There might be a day where people won't want to see a 50 year old Trish. Oh, it's going to be a year. People are not. It's like Patreon. Patreon was really hot for like two years, and now that's dying down, and now it's OnlyFans. Mm. So it's going to. Yeah, there's a lifespan for sure, but it's so hot right now. Like, OnlyFans is insane. I've made more money in one month on OnlyFans than I did all of last year on YouTube. Wow. It's insane. It's like insane. And that's what's so addicting. So now I started with just like, ooh, sexy. And then I was like, okay, touching myself. And then I'm like, okay, dildos. And now I'm like, let's just fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Like, that's what I'm down on and now. People can tip so they can, you can send them private videos, that's it. right? That's oh. the secret. So yeah. if I'm, I have one private video of sucking like an actual dick and like that one I like and like tip me a hundred and you can get this video. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it hasn't surfaced. I have a contact at Pornhub. So like they take down all the videos as soon as they go up there because people will download them and whatever. Yeah, but. I've seen uh, or there have been old videos of yeah. you on Pornhub. Yeah. I mean, those There's are like, like a threesome video. What? Wasn't there a threesome video? No. I mean, I think there was no. And with me, I know yeah. I don't think any sex videos been out there. I think that would have been like big, big news. Oh, maybe not. I mean, maybe not. I've seen some of your on Pornhub, like lingerie ones. Yeah. Like Patreon. That's all you could do. Patreon. You couldn't touch yourself oh. and only fans. You can go full throttle. So, oh, yeah. Wow. But you're still not down for that. YouTube. Do you make money? What's your main income? Your website? I don't, yeah. The website. Really? And the podcast and random stuff I, I make good money on cameo and star sona i'm on both of them you love cameo you were like all about it with me I, i'm not a i feel weird about it why i don't know i mean people always like make fun of it as like it's like you're charging people for a shout out yeah <laughs> i feel weird because it's like uh, you're you're on only fans yeah but you're like getting to see me fuck myself like it's not like hi happy birthday which i would do for free but, but i also love making the videos and i, I don't even it. i don't even charge that much how I, much is you i do 45 oh i was 250 yeah two 250 <laughs> 250 i made a lot on cameo but i, I just felt weird well if you charge less you probably wouldn't <laughs> feel so weird then it wouldn't be worth it right like isn't that the, the but it's not even about the money like yes i'm making like money it. i just love making people happy and being parts of special days and also it's good promotion That's then those true. people share those videos and it yeah. reminds and then it might want them to make to get videos or just reminds them of me too. yeah I like Cameo. I like it. I like the idea of it. Because you don't know what's going to be forever. Like, YouTube went tanked for me. So I'm like, okay, let me, what am I going to do? I don't make that much money on YouTube. You don't? On YouTube, I make between three to four thousand dollars a month. Wow. Wow. I'm surprised because you get a lot of like ones that hit, like when you have people's names in it and stuff like that. Yeah, but you, you're only going to be making a lot of money on YouTube if you're getting millions of views a month. Well, you look at, I look at like Rich Lux and he's like buying fucking Louis Vuittons like every weekend. I mean, I don't know. I guess he doesn't have kids, but he's like be balling. He's like a Bentley. He has like all this shit. I, a lot of these YouTubers and young influencers, they're in for some serious trouble in the future. With money? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Glozell, you know Glozell? Yeah. She's struggling financially. How do you know? Because I just did her podcast and it's all about how her life is a mess now. What? She's broke. 
her husband left her or they, they're getting divorced, all that stuff. She's a baby. Yeah. Well, not a baby anymore, like a toddler. So, Oh, shit. How'd she get broke? Because I'm irresponsible, cause her, but... Because her YouTube views stopped coming in. And she didn't diversify enough? Yeah. Fuck. Or do you remember that guy, Kevin Antoine Dodson? Had your wife, had your kids. Yeah, but he wasn't like... Yeah, but even him, he like he slid into my DMs asking me for money. Like what? Do you, you know, know him? Not even. We've never even met, but we're oh. like social media pals. I was like, set up a GoFundMe and I'll share the link. <laughs> did you? Did he do it? He did, and I did. Aaron Carter had a GoFundMe. Oh yeah, and now an OnlyFans. <laughs> and also, didn't he say he was like a billionaire? He'd always tell me he made three million dollars a month, and I was like, why do you have a GoFundMe? <laughs> the shelf life of yeah. a quote influencer is not that long. Yeah. So, you know, you've done something, though, that – and, and, and I, I don't even – I wouldn't say – I wouldn't say I dislike her, but I probably wouldn't say I like her either. Tana Mojo successfully done it, too. She's been able to become mainstream. So mm-hmm. have Logan Paul and Jake Paul. So even if their YouTube views completely tank and people stop caring about them on YouTube – at one point in time, they were still so popular that they will still always have that name recognition mm. and they'll always be able to yeah. do some kind of work, some little things here and there. Right. Same with you. Same with me. But like, look at like Tyler Oakley or Grace Helbig. Like, you well, don't, did they not have that? Like, what's different? I don't know if they ever. Because they were huge. I mean, Grace YouTube, had E. She was on E. But that didn't last very long. Yeah. That lasted, what, three months? Yeah. And even Busy Phillips, that lasted longer than the Grace show. Right. Um, the two of them never really became mainstream. You don't think so? I always thought they were so big. And, like, they were those names, like, they were associated with Ellen. Like, all that, I just thought they would never go away. Well, they went away. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? They totally did. And you know what? I'm just not, well, whatever. We won't go into that beef. Well, well, it's, it's, just, it's old ass beef. It's like so old. It's with like who? From, with like Grace. Like she was never nice to fans at VidCon. Like I, I did a whole video on it like back in like 2011 or 2012, whatever the first year. I was like, she was an asshole to my sister. Or like even, but who cares? Well, her, her, with her, who cares? Because she <laughs> married, right? Like even Gigi Gorgeous. Like do people care anymore? Uh, yeah. Not really, but. She just stopped making videos though, right? But she married well. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's what I'm about. I need to find She me. married well and she's a name though. And not yeah. only that, like, that's what I do dream of my FU money. Because if you had all the money in the world, unlimited amounts of money, imagine other things you could be doing or would be doing. Like, I know that, well, I would still love making videos and, and doing my podcast. I would just not do a video every day. Right. Like, that's yeah. a lot. And it's, it's pressure. That's how I feel. Although I'm going live now because I can make money going live. With extra, the tips. With the tips. And I do. If you were to go to live, if you were, if you would start no. going live on YouTube, you'd be making good money. I get scared of swatting. Who cares? I don't care. I'd, I've I'd, had that happen to me. Like wellness checks, they come to your house knowing you're home and they'll come like, the cops oh, are like. Oh, so you're swatting. I thought you meant like people like commenting, spamming. No, they'll send like, um, H3H3 H3 talked about this on their podcast. They got swatted. Like they send the SWAT team to their house. They'll call in like a bomb threat and they, they, and they can come with guns. They'll like come with guns inside your because house. Because they went live? I don't get it. Well, they know you're home is like the theory behind that. So they can be like, oh, he's home. Let me call in like a bomb How threat. How do people know, their, your, people know your address? Yeah. Your address is out there. Everyone's address is out there. Mine isn't. Yeah, your it is. No, look it up. I swear it is. There's a, well, I don't want to say it. I don't well, tell don't people. Don't say it. Yeah. There's a site that has everybody's on there. Yeah, but people couldn't look mine up because I don't own my home. I know. I know what you're saying because H3 is the same way. They have the dummy trust and everything like that, but it's still out there the day they got, they moved in. They oh. talked about it today, so it's not a secret. They were talking about it today on their podcast. Wow. So it's out there because that's, that's what everyone does, but it's out there. Wow. Yeah scary it's scary but well, i love going live follow me on youtube <laughs> at perez hilton yeah, i know i'm too paranoid like i don't know i don't know if any of this made it into the podcast but like the light started flickering and like all of a sudden i'm like oh my god is someone in here that'd be so crazy what if we well, you're died living by yourself if you're that paranoid why don't you live with a roommate i hate being around people <laughs> <laughs> so i'm stuck but i love how you're unfazed by everything like you're literally unfazed by swatting you're like i've invited random people i've met on social media to my home. That is crazy. You and I remember the first time I came to your house. I'm like, this is weird. You're like, inviting but me. not even you. Like I knew who you were. Right. I invited people I'd never even met or heard of, like <laughs> little baby YouTubers <laughs> or little baby creators that I felt fatherly towards and wanted to help. Yeah. Have you ever like slid into anyone's DMS? 
No, I'm too shy. Like, and also afraid of rejection. Like, I would flirt with somebody if I knew there was already interest there. Right. But I'm not going to initiate really? the flirt. No. Well, I think this is why maybe you've been single. You said you were single, what, like seven or eight years or something like that? Longer now. I haven't dated anybody long term since 2010. I haven't even had sex since 2016. Oh, no way. You say this. This is I mean not. It. It's true. 2016, when I when I was living in New York, I was having a lot of action. Right. Because there's more gays. It's easier to find like-minded individuals. It's easier to be spontaneous and meet up. Hey, what are you doing tonight? You want to go get a drink down the street? Right. I would always meet up with, I would do, I was on OkCupid, which I loved because it's not like Grindr. Right. Um, and then I was also doing Grindr in New York. You were? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Okay, so you were out there. I even had a fuck pad. What's a fuck pad? Like I was saying, I, I was, when I was way more stupid with my money, uh-huh. I got a studio to just bring guys <gasps> home and, and have sexy oh. time. Oh my God. So were you having sex like every day? Not every day, but a couple times a week. And you went to the sex pad. I need a sex pad. Maybe that's what I need. This is your sex pad. You live by yourself. <laughs> no, but I don't want them to know where I live sometimes. Oh, so when you hook up, you go to their places? Sometimes a hotel. Oh. I do Waldorf Astoria bougie. I'm like, come so to- <laughs> You're spending money to hook up? <laughs> I'm paranoid. I told you. I'm so paranoid. Wow. I don't want people to know like I have money or anything. But then I guess if you're at the Waldorf Astoria, they're probably like, well, how'd you get this fucking place? I think they assume I'm a hooker. <laughs> And most guys on Bumble assume that, like, especially like a lot of straight guys don't know who I am, and so they'll like assume I'm a hooker, I guess. I'm sure some of your OnlyFans fans probably think you are too. I mean, I'll take it. I mean, if I'm not, the not, price is right, no, no, not that. I'm not doing that. If you got an offer for a five thousand dollars for the night, would you take it? Five thousand dollars? No, no, for like a random? Yeah. No, no, for a dude that's been tipping you well for a while. No, five thousand. I mean, maybe. A hundred thousand. No, girl. Maybe. Ten seventy five hundred. That's what you would do it for? No, you. Oh, no. Seventy five hundred. That's a boom bod post. <laughs> <That's> a... <laughs> I don't need to be like having fucking for that. All right, ten thousand. That's your rate. Okay. All right. I love that you established it. We've, we've established it. Now. now I'm gonna get arrested for that. I'm not a hooker. I'm not accepting solicitation. That's just for your time. Anything else that happens <laughs> is between consenting individuals. Oh my god, you need to be a manager. We are the same person. I never realized that until now. Like you do a podcast, you did your books, you do like everything. I love that. I'm acting or trying to. You are? Yeah, I, I'll audition and I've done a lot of web stuff recently. I mean, I did bigger stuff a, a while ago. I was on Glee with Lindsay Lohan. I, Were you a judge? I was a judge yeah, that's on what Nationals. I, remember, yeah. I did a horror movie. I've done a. I was in the Sopranos back in the day. Oh damn! I would. I would love to do more acting. Do you feel like you peaked and came down, or do you think you're still at the same level? Oh, I definitely peaked and came down. You do, so yeah. you can admit that. Oh yeah, of course. But see, I. But it's not even about that. It's like you don't care. It's I don't care. Like I look at Joan Rivers as an inspiration, and I think the fact that I. I, I believe that everything happens for a reason. And the fact that I have to work is a good thing. I think the fact that I don't have my FU money mm-hmm. is ultimately what's going to keep me in the game as long as possible. Right. Because that's what forces reinvention. Necessity. Necessity is the mother of invention. Right. If And back in the day, in 2007, 2008, when I was making crazy amounts of money... I would say no to a lot of stuff, like, and say stupid bullshit, like, oh, that's not good for my brand. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's lame or whatever. (laughs) But then you look at somebody like Joan Rivers, whom for many years in her career struggled financially, had a lot of down years, down decades even, which is why she started to reinvent. She write would write her own material started selling jewelry did the red carpet did a re, a two reality shows yeah. a web show all of this stuff so now i'm the biggest whore i'm yeah. a whore too dog yeah. we're all whores we cash this check we what's what that, that show girls like i know, I know. <laughs> I we're all know whores, darling. <laughs> she's like i'm not <laughs> we're all whores. it's true though yeah at the end I mean, of the day so long as what i would get paid to do doesn't hurt anybody else. I will do whatever for a paycheck. Yeah, same. And that's great because that means you're not judging the work. Right. If somebody enjoys 
a stupid TV show that I might think is stupid, who cares? People are getting an enjoyment out of it. Yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. I agree. I totally agree. I feel like when you were saying that about John Rivers, I feel like that was Suzanne Summers. I'm like waiting for my thigh master like to come along. Like what with the thigh master, she said she made like $10 million or something like that. I was like in one year. And I was like, that's what I need. Cause she rebranded herself too. She like went down and then up and that's what I see. That's what I don't know. And I'm not self-aware enough to know. I don't think I ever peaked to have come down. I feel like I've always been like level underneath everybody. So like, I don't to know that level of fame, like you had, you were hanging out with, like Lady but, like, Gaga. Even, and- even I, I, I'm so inspired also by the, not even, it, it happens to everybody. One thing can change anything. Yeah. At any time. Like, tomorrow you might, Justin Bieber might get divorced and start dating you. Right. That might and happen. then now your date, I mean, any, like literally anything could happen I, at any point in life. I think that all the time. I literally thought for it's a minute, true though. like in my head, this is not a delusion. This was something I really thought. I thought for a minute, Brad Pitt might invite me to the Oscars. And that was like a real thought that I had. <laughs> I'm like, what if he did that? And I kept like thinking about this and manifesting. I'm like, I, I can see myself being his date that, to the Oscars this year. That <laughs> would change your life. But we look at somebody like yeah, Shane happens. Dawson. Right. Whom, you know, started on YouTube forever ago. And then there was a period of time on YouTube where he was just like a mid tier YouTuber, Mm -hmm. but then he changed his content and it took him to the next level. Yeah. Or even Jeffree Star after his MySpace days, he kind of faded away. Yeah. And then YouTube brought him back to prominence and he used the YouTube fame to make a lot of money selling makeup. It's insane now where he's at. I know he talked about in the uh, document. Although, he spends so much money like yeah but like at that point you have to have like so much money like if you're spending that much you have to have like so much yeah but this is a mistake i made Mm -hmm. just because you're making that much money now doesn't mean you're always gonna make that much money but i feel like you can see for me i this is how i see i think they can see the progression for me especially with youtube you can see like a month ahead what you're gonna make so you can see when you're going down so when you see when you're going down but you've already when you already increase your cost of living by so much right then it's, well, first of all, it's not necessary. And secondly, it's much harder to get rid of this and get rid of that after you've accustomed yourself to living so fancy. Do you really need this? Do you really need that? Yeah. Like, I was never a big diva. The biggest splurges I would ever do for myself was getting a personal trainer and getting my meals delivered. But I even got rid of those last year to save money. Well, you have kids. It's different. Yeah. Jeffrey never wants kids. So I feel like, and for me, I probably will never have kids. I'm like, might as well spend it. Like, that's how I feel. But I think kids, it's totally different. Because if I had kids, I'd be so scared. And like, I I don't know. I don't know what I would do. Well, before I had kids, like, I didn't even care that when I got sued. Like, I don't care. Yeah. Money means nothing to me. Now, like, that's what gives me anxiety. Like, I need to make more, spend less, make more, spend less. Oh, yeah. I think, well, yeah, for sure. I'm the same way. I'm like, take my money. Like, if someone wants money, I give it to them. I'm like, have it. Like, it doesn't matter because, like, it doesn't, for me, it doesn't matter. And I don't see myself having kids. I'm not taking care of anyone except my family. So I'm like, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. And I think Jeffrey's doing, he does, like, band merch. He's doing so much that I didn't even know how he made all his money. I was like, that's insane. He has, like, crazy money i went to vegas with him and it was insane he just bought like a rolex it was like five hundred thousand dollars like on the spot i'm like how do you even have a credit card that goes up to five hundred thousand dollars <laughs> i would not be shocked though if in five years he goes bankrupt i don't think so because he did he was there he talked about it that he had tax something with taxes oh his accounts got frozen he talked about it in shane's docuseries it's, i feel like yeah i feel like more wow more I, mm, I think so. Wow. Because he ships all like these huge bands. I think he makes the most in the shipping, the band merch. I think that's what he said in the docuseries. Like he has like all the big, biggest bands, like Hot Topic bands, and he ships all their merch for them and distributes it. I think that's how he makes it. I don't know. I mean, I have no idea. I Who knows? I mean, me, I'm not, I'm not at that level quite yet, but. Yeah. I just, I know I'll always have a career and I'm excited. I feel like I'm only halfway through my book. Really? Yeah. So you think, I think that with you too, I feel like there is something that like, I don't know. I'm surprised you never did like a TV show. Have you been offered a TV show? No, that's what's missing. I know that I shine on television Yeah, and I'm really good and I'm not dissing her, but if I had the (laughs) opportunity to do something like a Wendy Williams show, I would do it so much better. Oh, well, Wendy, was it you that said she needs to be canceled? Wendy's losing her mind. I love Wendy, but shit. What was that last thing she did? Oh my God. The joke about- Making fun of the woman that died. Bless her heart. Or telling like guys not to stop wearing skirts. And I was like, oh my God, she needs to be- Specifically, that, my theory on that, when she told gay men that you'll never be a woman like (laughs) me, I think she was directing that at (laughs) Billy Porter because that was just after the Oscars and Billy Porter did the red carpet and also opened the show. And I think- 
she was jealous. She needs to not be on TV anymore. That's just too like old school minded. Like you need to like, I don't know. That's crazy. She, I used to love Wendy, but she's losing her mind. I used to love her too. And I, I believe you could still be crazy and silly and wild and have your opinions, but do it in a way that's not cruel so much yeah. like i and and i learned that lesson yeah and she's Same. even older than me yeah she's in her mid 50s now but then that's even worse because they like don't change because they're not about being just like I, they're telling me to apologize so i'm apologizing but that's what you should do or you should go on the show what's the one with sharon osborne you should do like those because you were on the view and that was those i would were love so to be on the talk yeah i feel like that's your thing i i i I'm open to whatever. I think that's going to happen. And I feel I feel the same way. Like, with me, I've always thought I do better in traditional settings, like interviews. I watch YouTubers on, like, Jimmy Fallon, and they, like, are awful at interviewing. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be like, put me on there. I'm such a good guest. And I know I am because I, I go know. on podcasts, and people I will be like, know. she's amazing. And I'm like, so I'm like, I don't know why. I'm, I feel like you were in, like, this digital world, but I feel like we need to, like... But you and Howard Stern or no? Have you been on his show? He, he, I think he's banned me for some reason, even though I've been in his, on his show so many times, and I'm in the Hall of Fame for fingering Benji... You did? Wait, yeah. so you were on his show? Yeah, a ton. Oh, I think he asked you like how much money you made, right? He was trying to get you to tell you like how much. Well, money. I always tell Howard everything. I yeah. even fucking fingered Benji. But my co-host <laughs> on my podcast is really good friends with Howard, oh. and he said that there's two reasons why I'm not on anymore. I'm not officially blacklisted, <laughs> but um, the main reason is they only want a-listers for the most part yeah i could see that and the other reason is if you're not an a-lister he only wants people on the show that listen to the show regularly and, and I you don't. don't i do and they don't want me on there i don't even watch <laughs> television i watch clips of things i don't have time the only time i watch tv and i don't even watch it i just have it on the background is when i let my kids watch cartoons yeah other than that like I honestly work like a crazy person. That's crazy. We're doing what? Like filming and editing or? Filming for my two YouTube channels, doing my podcast, promoting the podcast, uploading the podcast clips everywhere. I do that myself. Yeah. Um, Everything else that I do, I uh, interviews, working on projects, some secret projects, you know, things that take time. Can you tell us? I gave you tea. I'm working on a book. Yeah. Like a tell all. Yeah. About your life or about people, celebrities? Both. Oh my god, especially your stories. But aren't, and you guys can't get sued. Jessica Simpson just did it. I was trying to get Jessica Simpson on my podcast. I love her. I will be talking about Jessica in my book. <gasps> Bad. Or, I, I the only the only thing that could have been perceived as bad, I, I've I've been writing it for a while, and it's so funny because I'm working on it with these co-writers, and they came back and we were reading something that we had written a while ago, and it included Jessica Simpson, and I said something in there like, and she's a big boozer. Oh. And that was before she, she admitted oh. that she was a big boozer. But now out. she's been sober for three years. So good for her. Oh, my God. Do you think she Thank is, God. though? She was. She's, oh, she was. I knew it. I said it. No, I mean, bo- is she sober? That's what she claims. On show, she looks like she's out of her mind still. She'll be like, when they're like, did, did they give you a gift? She goes, well, the gift was Nick finding love. <laughs> I was like, wait. I think it might be. I don't even know. I haven't. I didn't watch the clips. Uh-huh. It, it, I, might, I, it might be something else. I don't know. It might be nerves. It might be pills. Who knows? Nerves. I know. I love her, but she's definitely not coming on after that. I was like, is she still? So like- let's talk about you again. So you <laughs> you did your tour last year. Were they sellouts? Did every show do really no. well? No. No. You didn't come to the LA show. You said you were coming. I, I, it was during the day. I thought you were going to do an evening. No, thing. I don't know why we I do. I had something in the in the middle of the day with my kids oh. that day. Yeah, no, we didn't sell out. Um, well, two things. They booked twice the size of the venues this year. Because last year, we did sell out. Last year, I was also friends with David. And David was known for going to shows. He never came to mind. But people always thought David was going to show up. As all his friends' shows sell out. Because they're like, David will probably show up. So I think I sold out my first tour because I was friends with David. And so they're like, they might show up. So mm. I sold it out. So then when I did the second tour, they're like, well, she sold out all those shows. Let's double the size of the venues. But now I've blasted David and Jason. Clearly, they're not coming to the show. And so now my like venues were half full. So I technically, if I would have done the same size... Probably could have still sold out 800, but I was paying 2,000 seat theaters, so. Uh, are you going to do it again this year? Mm-hmm. Smaller venues. Yeah, because now, now we're doing, now it's a different sound. So it's none of my songs. It's like new songs now. It's not gonna, I'm not going to do any dancers or pop songs or anything like that. <laughs> the new thing. Yeah, the new thing. I'm very excited but Like about. even David Dobrik, like he will age out. You think? See, now some people think he has that lasting power. Like he will always be relevant in some sort of capacity. Yes and no, but. You know, um, like, 
not Liza, but what's the other girl? The I Superwoman? Oh, Lily Singh. Lily Singh. Does anybody care about her anymore? No, I yeah. mean, she's able to get a talk show. She got a talk show at 1.30 in the morning, but nobody's watching it. It failed. I never see any clips go viral from yeah. the show. When you fail that miserably, like the Grey Show on E!, I feel like that's when it really tanks you. They're like, ooh, don't even touch that person. Now, Colleen, who's had two successful Netflix shows and a stand-up special on Netflix, like I feel like she's forever, because she has like another thing with Netflix coming out. She did Broadway. So I feel like once you have successful stuff, it's good. But when you have something tank, like Lily, no one cares. Good for her. Yeah. You pronounce it, it's Colleen, right? Colleen, yeah. Colleen. (laughs) It's weird because it's spelled Colleen. (laughs) Colleen. I love her. She's like one of my favorite people in the whole world. Like, she's really good. And she, like, the fact that she did Broadway and all this stuff, I'm like, oh, I'm so jealous. Like, her career, I'm so jealous of. I love her trajectory. Yeah, I love her trajectory, too, because I never liked Miranda Sings. No, me either. But I like her. Yeah. I like now that she's doing all this mommy vlogger stuff yeah. and just her vlogging, just like her is more interesting to me. Yeah. And her show, she sells out. I went to her show in Utah. She like flew me out there like just to, just because, and she sold out like three, like a 3000 seat theater in, 3, in Salt Lake City. Oh, wow. I know. And you were part of her show. Just that one night. Yeah. I like went on stage and I don't even know, I forgot what we did. I think I did like an impression. I don't even know, but I had never impression? been. She's like, there's a part of her show where you do like Miranda impressions, and so she brought me on stage to do a Miranda. I don't know. I didn't even, I, I'm so bad at that kind of stuff, but. TikTok is where you impre- should be following. Are you me. at Perez Hilton on TikTok? I'm Perez Hilton. So you're Hilton. Perez Hilton everywhere? No, most of the other ones. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I have two brands. So uh-huh. it's Perez Hilton and The Perez Hilton. The Perez Hilton, yeah. So on TikTok, I'm, there's only one account. I'm not doing celebrity news on TikTok. Okay. Every once in a while I do, but not for the most part. Um, and then Instagram, The Perez Hilton is my personal one, and Perez Hilton is the website. YouTube, Perez Hilton is pop culture, and the Perez Hilton is family. Um, and then I have two Facebooks, two Twitters. It's freaking exhausting. So Perez Hilton and the Perez Hilton. Yes. Only fans, Perez Hilton. <laughs> no, no, only fans for <laughs> okay. me. Okay, so follow him on there. Maybe we'll, uh, are we doing a video or are we doing yeah, a we'll TikTok? Yeah, we'll do a video. We should do a TikTok. Let's do both. Okay, <laughs> all right, we'll do it. So I've already him. got a song picked out for us and everything. Oh, for TikTok? Yeah. Do you do the dances or no? I, I, no. I okay. make up, I do <laughs> dancing videos, but I don't recreate the dances those are what's popping yeah i don't like that okay i don't have the time to learn a freaking dance it takes two seconds i'm not good at that okay i like to dance <laughs> i'll be silly like but i you're not gonna learn it no I'm, I'm i'm not that person i love dancing and being fabulous maybe we'll dance i got adam carolla to do a dancing tiktok with I'll me i'll do a dancing i one. like taught him and everything we can just make up our own dance i don't think that's as cool i think like these kids know the cool moves because you know like the whoa and the <laughs> or like what's the new one the like the vibe song the <laughs> what is that one the let throw it back throw it back throw it back that one. <laughs> i <laughs> you know, don't know that one wait, you know it the no. audio is very popular Hold throw it on. back maybe we should do that one i'm, I'm actually kind of bad i feel like i only know like the really popular i have really like, renegade <laughs> shitty wi-fi here you can connect to mine I will in a second. I got to play you the audio. You know, you know which song I'm talking about. Hold on. No, I only know like. This song is, has, here we go. This is the one that everybody loves now. Throw it back. Throw it back. I don't know it. This is how it begins. You know, everybody's making videos with this one. Hold on. You have not heard this no. one? No. That's enough? I don't know that. Or people are, this week, the, 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 the dance that's gone viral this week is the cannibal dance. I'll oh, eat you yeah. up. I've done that. I'll eat you up. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you tell me I'm pretty, that's on the hunt. We should do that one. I don't like doing that. It takes 10 seconds to learn it. All right, fine. I can do that one for your channel. Okay. For no, mine, you can just be silly. Okay. You can just be dancing like we're strippers. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> okay, family-friendly press. That's Press Hilton. Oh, no, but I love it because wow. I'm I'm a dad, but I'm also unapologetically me. Like I, <laughs> You're a cool oh, dad. Or, or like, this is the stupid video I made. I made a stupid video last night with this audio. She fucked me with a toothbrush. You loved Hannah. <laughs> Did you do it? you yeah Just, yeah oh my god you look so young do <laughs> <laughs> you have a filter it's the face zoom you look like a baby like you look like you're 20 you look really good it's really crazy how like amazing you look like you look like a boy you look like my ex sean oh, thanks i just 
had three cupcakes. <laughs> really? Oh, it's your birthday party? <laughs> my son's birthday party. You look amazing. It's insane. You look so good. Well, I'm working out seven days a week now. I need to do that. And I'm eating healthy most of the time. But also, now that I'm working out so hard, it's great because I feel like when I want to indulge, I can right. and do it without any guilt. Right. That's what I need to do. I need to get back because I used to work out. I think I gained weight. This is a whole other thing. But I think when I was with the trainer, I was gaining weight because I did. I was with the trainer when I was with Jason and I was like 230. I was so heavy. And now I'm like 180. That's a huge difference. I wow. know. I don't, so I don't know. Maybe working out's not my thing. <laughs> so what's the response to your podcast been like? Are Amazing. People saying I love listening to it and they're enjoying it. It's all positive. Like, I don't want to jinx it. But like when I look at the reviews, like everything's positive on the podcast. Like on my YouTube channel, I'm like, this is what Trisha should be doing. Do you know how many listeners you're getting per show? Um, I think my the most popular was Shane's at 2 million downloads. What? Uh-huh. Holy fuck. I think Jeffrey's was around 1.8. Wow, that's huge. Yeah, that's big. I know they told me like a million downloads is a lot for like a podcast. Yeah, I'm not even getting anywhere near that. I think Whoa. even like David and Jason get like 900,000. Well, they were when I knew them, so I don't even think, yeah. Wow. But I mean, all mine, those were like the top ones, obviously. Um, Still, that's amazing. I don't know what I average. I should ask them. I have no idea what I average. I should look that's that up. That's huge. Yeah, I think it's doing Thanks well. for having me on. Thanks for coming on. <laughs> I'm so excited. Sorry about the flaking. It's I was all on drugs. Good. That's why I said, <laughs> I, I, we'll do it on Saturday because if she flakes on Saturday, it's like I'm a loser I'm not going out Saturday <laughs> night anyways okay so, so it worked out but no, we did it I you're was, my Saturday night date oh I love that thanks <laughs> well we both have dates tonight me and Tim oh, yeah hello but I'll be your date I'll be at all day long I know it sucks. you're like my, one of my only mainstream people I've only had a few mainstream people on but a lot of 2007 people like Mickey Avalon like <laughs> you had Mickey Avalon on yeah I slid into his DMs you know what um, next week is a Corey Feldman Oh wow! Yeah, so <laughs> I just love nostalgia. I don't know if that's like an I know. insult, but you love it. well, you're 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 an older soul. I know. I'm like, ooh, Corey Feldman. Yeah. So, anyways, all right, and Courtney Stodden. It's been it's been a mix. Courtney. She was my first female guest. What is she doing for money these days? Is she's she a rich only boyfriend. Fans? Yeah, she, she is. She's on OnlyFans. <laughs> she has a rich boyfriend, and she's doing good. Doug Hutchison has a tell tell all book. I'm gonna try and get him on the podcast. Nobody cares about him. I love him. You do? Yeah, I was obsessed with their like story. Mm. I know. I, I go with the people nobody care about. I like. I'm. I'm I care more about her than him. Yeah, because she's like attractive. There's just also something like you're rooting for her. Yeah. Because I don't know. I'm just. I'm just rooting for her. Well, she was like abused. I mean, like if yeah, you're dating, and him. he was taking advantage yeah. of that young girl. Which is why I want to like. I like to. I guess you shouldn't give those people. Out, but I'm always curious what older men think. I'm like, what do you have in common with a 15 year old? You know what I mean? Like sex. Yeah, but even but she was like, she, she was a virgin. She I didn't want to have sex, so I was like. So what did you have in common before that? Like, you know, anyways, that's a whole other topic. But um, all right, guys, this has been The Dish with Trish. Thanks, uh, President. Check them out on Podcast One. Maybe I'll get a Podcast One read for your uh, podcast. This basically has <laughs> been this, it. It's been it. And uh, yeah, you guys, if you guys do want to. I've read yours. Uh, wait, what? Oh, you have you? Yeah, for my, on mine. Really? They yeah. sent it to you? Yeah. Oh, that's so weird. I it, get we yours. usually put it at the end of our show. Like, oh. before you go, if you enjoyed my show, listen to. Blah, oh. blah, 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 I think they just insert mine because I just do the ad reads like a separate and then they just insert it somewhere. I don't know. That's so cool. Oh, well, we'll check him out. And guys, if you leave a comment and a rating, it really does help. I uh, The podcast it goes up somewhere, but we're on Spotify now. So check that out and um, we'll see you at the next one. Thanks, Press Hilton. Thank you. Yay.